Meantime, back here, a survivor of the massacre at that Israeli music festival shared her story today at the historic 6th and I synagogue in Northwest D.C. She spoke before a crowd of Jewish leaders in town from all across the U.S. The 25-year-old was with her best friend and her friend's sister, both U.S. citizens, when that attack began. News 4's Jackie Benson has their story. We started hearing what we thought was fireworks that the music festival arranged. When I opened the tent, I realized chaos was in front of me. Noah Ben Arzi described the terror of October 7th to a gathering convened by the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations. The 25 year old Israeli, an industrial engineering student, says she, her best friend, and her best friend's sister, both U.S. citizens, were enjoying the music festival when Hamas rockets began flying overhead. Hundreds of people were running towards me. When I looked up in the sky, I saw hundreds of rockets above me. That's when I started panicking. She says she ended up trying to shelter in a small cement building. In panic, dozens of others quickly piled in. She found herself pushed to the back. People began falling on top of her. She says she started to suffocate. Next thing I know, they're throwing five grenades inside. Body parts are flying around. And all I hear around me is people suffocating, people on top of another, <clears throat> and a lot of shots from within. That's when I realized there's a huge body on top of me. Ben Arzi told the Assembly of American Jewish Leaders and U.S. government officials that she has been unable to learn the fate of her best friend and her friend's sister. Jackie Benson, News 4. Her strength is just amazing. We are working for you overnight following the developments in Israel. We will also be tracking President Biden's movement. So wake up to the latest news tomorrow morning. News 4 Today starts at 4 a.m.